we're talking about games and we're talking about building games here, but the same thing translates really well to like when you're building actual applications too. A lot of times you're starting with this blank framework and you're giving it like a broad idea of the thing you want to make. And then you're diving into these individual features. What are your sources for figuring out how to scaffold with existing technologies? A lot of times I'll ask the AI, if I wanted to build a game and I wanted it to run inside of a browser, which technologies make the most sense? But then picking those things out and starting to do deep dives on it, like traditional Google and feeding that back into LLM. So it almost becomes like a conversation with another developer where you're like, hey, I learned this thing from the internet. Can you implement this in the game? I just think that's a really interesting process that nets out net positive. We're in this time period where everyone can go and do this. My kids have sat down and started playing with building games and things like that. So we're going to speed run vibe coding this game. We are going to speed run. I want to build a flight simulator. I want turning to bank the plane and arrow keys to control pitch. And there's our game. Hold your horses. You wrote like 27 words into this prompt and now you have a video game.